Hello, Harvard football fans, and welcome to another edition of Crimson Conversation. Today, I'm lucky enough to be joined by Zach Miller, the 2018 Harvard football captain, and we're going to be discussing the one and only experience of playing Harvard Yale at Fenway Park. Zach, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Nick? I'm doing well. I'm really glad you could join me today. Yeah, I'm excited too. Thanks for having me on. Let me start by asking you, do you remember when you heard that the game was going to be moved to Fenway Park and what your initial reaction was? Yeah, so actually we heard the game was not going to be at Harvard first because um, obviously it alternates every year. So we were like, man, we have to go back to New Haven. And so we were really disappointed. And that was kind of our mindset. We were just going to do another year up in New Haven. And then Coach Murphy called us in and, and got the team together and was like, hey, we just found out we're going to be playing at Fenway. And locker room went nuts. Everyone was jacked up. Um, definitely breathed life into the team. Did you guys get to do a walkthrough at Fenway? We did the day before. Um, and it almost we almost weren't able to go out there because it was kind of cold and raining that day. So they had to cover the field, obviously, to preserve the grass. Um, so we weren't able to walk on the field. But um, the day before, we were able to kind of check it out and kind of calm our nerves a, a little bit uh, before we before we stepped out there to play the next day. So you had done three of these Harvard Yales before this. Mm -hmm. And so the national anthem plays, you're in Fenway Park, the place is full. What are you thinking? What's the atmosphere like? Oh, it's absolutely insane. So we ended up, we, again, every, all of our typical routines, our pregame routines were just a little different, just obviously because we're not playing at Harvard Stadium, we're not playing at a typical stadium, we're playing at Fenway. So there's a lot of controls um, that Fenway obviously has. And it was really exciting because we, we walked out separately. Um, we kind of piled out there, not our, again, not our typical entrance um, to a stadium um, for the national anthem. And I'm standing out there. I happen to be standing next to Coach Murphy, which rarely happens for the national anthem as well. And all of a sudden, like at the end of the national anthem, we just hear like this thundering noise. And we realized they had a flyover. We had no idea that was going to happen. So all of a sudden, the stadium gets loud. People start going nuts at the end of the at the end of the anthem. And then all of a sudden, just energy level went from if it was at a ten, it went to a hundred for both teams and and the stadium. It was wild. So let's talk about the game. Uh, highest scoring Harvard Yale game in history. I'm not going to ask you how that happened because you're a safety and I'm not going to put any of that blame on you. Uh, but I mean, like walk me through it. I mean, an insane amount of points, turnovers, big plays. I mean, what, what, what was going through your head on the sideline? Oh, play the next play. You can only control what you can control. Um, our, our defensive coordinator, Scott Larkey has a saying, there's no such thing as momentum in football. There's no such thing. Every time they have to line up, you have to line up and play the next play. So you really can't let your emotions get too high or too low. Um, but in a game like the Harvard Yale game, it's almost impossible. So, you, but, you, but you just can't ride that roller coaster. You have to stay even keel. So tell me about the crowd. I mean, how, how was it different than Harvard Stadium? Were you guys feeding off the energy? Um, it was – the Harvard Yale game, again, is always insane. But we were definitely feeding off the energy. And you have – Obviously, Fenway, um, they do a great job of um, engaging the fans and creating that atmosphere. So music was playing. Fans were constantly engaged at any breaks in time. Um, it was pr always pretty loud to barely hear yourself think. And I remember at one point, I think it was after the third quarter, um, going into the fourth quarter, they played Sweet Caroline <laughs> over the loudspeaker and going to start the fourth quarter. And I remember... The, it was it was deafening on the field. We couldn't hear anything. And I, I think we were in the huddle, and Coach Larky looked at us and he was like, "Man, this is pretty awesome, huh?" <laughs> we were all like, "Yeah, this is this is pretty unreal." So there were definitely moments where it felt very surreal, and you you just couldn't help but smile and and take it all in. So you talked about it being a great experience. Is this something you think future Harvard football players would like to do? I really enjoyed it. Couldn't have asked for a better, better cap off to the year, but to go out on that high note with um, my best friends, brothers for life at Fenway, um, it was just really special. That's definitely something um, I'll cherish and remember forever. What's the most memorable part of that game? Is it walking onto the field at Fenway? Is it getting the big win over to the Bulldogs? Or is it the two picks? <laughs> um, I think it's all of it. I think it's every moment. I think 
that first touchdown for our offense was special. Because one, we typically, on the defensive side of the ball, we typically don't watch the offense. Uh, we're typically in a huddle, a game planning, figuring out what we're going to do on the next possession. But we just so happen to all be standing up. And seeing that us score that first touchdown, um, it was absolutely insane. We're like, all right, we can play. It's time to go. Um, so that was that was really special. And then obviously at the end, um, being able to to seal the game with an interception, that's truly special um, to go to kind of in my that being my last play <laughs> of, of my football career and my Harvard career. Well, that's all the time we have today for this Crimson Conversation. I want to thank Zach Miller, 2018 Harvard football captain, for joining us today and talking about the HY game at Fenway Park. Zach, it's been a pleasure. Yep. Really appreciate you having me on. Great to connect. Come on, talk about my experience. Well, this has been great. We hope our entire community out there enjoyed this quick conversation, and we'll see you again next time on Crimson Conversations.